There is this like popular idea that we only need 10% of our brain. I'm sure you've heard this I, before. I've heard this and I don't okay. know what it means. It okay. sounds like malarkey to me. Right. So it's also referring to this point that there are parts of our brain actually that are extremely redundant with other parts of the brain. So the frontal lobes, for example. We do surgeries there routinely and oftentimes people really have no effect. Even in terms of judgment, even in terms of... Absolutely, yeah. My point is that it's redundant, meaning that um, different parts of the frontal lobe actually have similar purposes and similar role. And so um, for the most part, a lot of our patients can accommodate a fairly large surgery, sometimes even removing the entire frontal lobe. Both sides? No, not both no. sides. Okay. Really. Uh, usually these pathologies are only yep. on one side. So if you took the entire frontal lobe from the left or right side, would there, would there be a, sub- a substantial difference? I've done that many times. It really depends on the case and scenario. If someone's been having something that's slower growing there and there's been time for the brain to reorganize, what we call plasticity, mm. a lot of those functions will essentially no longer be in that right frontal lobe and they've moved to the left side. Wow. What is the mechanism by which that happens? Time and function, meaning like these things don't happen overnight. They take, you know, sometimes weeks and years. But basically what happens is some neurons get lost over time and then others will compensate in, in, in terms of that function. Do you ever think philosophically about what the implications are for human consciousness by the fact that you can do a complete transection of the corpus and seemingly produce two people? 